Hi, welcome to the Paper Podcast. You know, as we're approaching uh, 2023, um, wanted to give a little bit of my thoughts and uh, of banking over, you know, what to look for in 2023. You know, bankers right now, there's definitely uncertainty in the economy. We have inflation and higher rates. So when I look online and I'm looking through all the banking periodicals and the groups and things, um, I'm seeing a lot of sales of, oh, customer experience. You got to, you know, really hit the customers at their locations. And, you know, bankers, you know, during this time, 2023, you know, we already have the technology to meet our customers at their locations. You've already got, I'm sure you've got Teams, you've got Zoom, pick up the phone call, you know, reach out to your customers. You know, there's plenty of modes of communication that you can be there without having to get it. Now, if you're extremely consumer based and you've got tens of thousands of customers in the app, having that experience and having that live chat and the auto throughout your apps I believe those are extremely important. But for the most, for the commercial and the community bankers out there, you've already got the technology. In fact, I want you to look into all your existing vendors, and I guarantee you can eliminate half of your probably technology stack that you're either not fully utilizing or not. I've had things that we've purchased and we've had a five-year contract that we've had to set aside and just pay out for the life of the contract because it actually took more time and effort after we established of training our employees and to push it. And maybe it was a consumer product that if it's on front of mind and they want to uh, add on dur- during a new account application or new account opening, it just didn't fall in the narrative. And um, we just said, scrap it, put it aside. It ended up being cheaper, not even selling the product and just paying the minimum monthly until it was out. So really, um, Scrap dead weight. Go through your operations, look at your vendor list, and cut the dead weight out. Um, Additionally, you know, I see a lot of scare tactics. Oh, you know, the challenger banks, the faux banks, they're really out there and they're taking a slice of pie. Well, you know, some of the silver lining of 2023 that's coming in, you know, the VC money is drying up in these faux banks. So I don't know about you, but the digital banks, how many of them are actually sustainable? How many of them are actually making money? We're going to see a lot of them go to the wayside and you're going to see, you know, maybe they have a great user base. They're going to need to parlay because they're not going to be successful just on that digital platform. They're going to need to be able to sell other services. They're going to need the bundle. So you know, we're going to see a lot go to the wayside. So don't be scared into, oh my goodness, you got to make this giant leap because of the challenger banks. You're going to see those neo banks fall to the wayside. And two, one, uh, another big one, you know, what is the regulatory focus going to be in 2023 when we all get examined? You know, well, in 2022, the, the regulators have been forewarning us by, you know, sending the, the, the financial institution letters out. Um, one, they're really going to hit banking as a service, bass. Um, they're really going to hit that hard. So if you are sponsoring um, fintechs, especially you know, they're if they don't like the product, you know they're going to hit you at different angles. They're going to hit you on vendor due diligence. So you better have your vendor due diligence locked down on any of your bass. Additionally, if they don't like that product and it's touching a lot of consumers with the CFPB out there. They're going to try and hit you on UDAP. They're going to hit you at every single angle instead of just coming at you directly and saying, we don't like this relationship. They're, they're going to try to hit you on some little obscure thing to just make it more difficult for you to come up in your own opinion and say, you know what, we want to de-risk and get rid of this, this fintech. So go back, look at all your fintech relationships, um, dot your I's, cross your T's on all your vendor due diligence, your BSA in regards to them, you know, all those little things are going to, are going to be what hurts you in the long run. Um, Regulatory is going to have climate focus. Um, You know, they're still going to be pushing that agenda. Um, You know, hopefully our lobbying entities can push back on that because it is just, how are you going to monitor that? I mean, it's disastrous for community banks. If you're a community bank in Florida and all your real estate is in Florida, how are you possible? Every, every commercial loan, every every house is going to be in a wind zone. So it's just, you know, they don't even know how they're going to um, control that. But, you know, that's going to be a forefront. And additionally, anything crypto related. 
you know, the pendulum is going to swing, swing the other way um, with the fallout of FTX. And, but, you know, you got crypto is nothing new. It is just a new type of modes of um, product. It, it's, you know, it's a payment system. You know, if you have customers relating to crypto, you know, follow it through. Know your customer. See who they sell to. You're, you know, do your checks and balances. Um, know your customer's customer and follow through that. Um, regulators are going to have to play a lot of catch up. And so they're afraid. And so they're just going to over criticize. They're going to, you know, over um, analyze the risk. So you need to have the risk uh, identified ahead of time. Go ahead and get your risk assessments done on any crypto related products ahead of time because that's the first thing they're going to see when they come in. Do you have anything crypto related? Maybe you just have a customer who sells crypto. Well, have a risk assessment on them. You know, those are my takeaways for 2023. Um, you know, looking back, uncertainty economy, that's great, but use that time wisely. Look in your vendors now, look at your technology st stack, eliminate so then you can actually focus on what will improve you going forward. Um, don't get scared into the challenger banks. We're going to see a lot of the fallout for the digital fintech um, banking. You know, there's going to be, I predict, only a few of them that will survive. And then um, regulatory focus, bass, climate, crypto. That's it. You know, questions, thoughts, you know, please add in the comments. Thank you for listening. And uh, here's to a happy, a great uh, 2023.